Hi, this is Mike for Themify, and in this video I'm going to show you some of the new options you have to customize any area of your theme that you may choose. Uh, here, under Appearance, if we go to Customize, this is going to open up the new Customize panel. You'll see a preview of your website as it is now, and the Themify options. This is what we're looking for. And to start with, I'm going to go to the body. Now, with the body, I could click on background color here and choose any color I like with this nice picker that comes up. I think I'll choose this sort of a dark a dark orange tan. And if I wanted to add a background image, I click this circle with a plus here. And this is going to bring up your media library where you can add any image that you've already uploaded or by clicking upload files you can simply add any new image. Uh, I'm going to start here by adding this image of this surfer. And I'm going to insert that and there you have it. Here is the image of our surfer as our background image. And you'll notice that it starts repeating vertically. If I do not want that to repeat vertically, I come on over here to my options where it says repeat all, and I can change that to repeat horizontal, repeat vertical, no repeat, full color. For this, I'm just going to say uh, no repeat, and you'll see we have our image of our surfer here, and then underneath that is that, that background color that I chose earlier. We also have the option to change the border, let's say a solid, I'll choose a red border, you can see it start to coming in here. I'll make that a little bit larger so that we can really see it. 15 pixels, here's our, here's our red border all the way around. And I'm not really a fan of that border, so I'll get rid of that simply by getting rid of how many pixels it is. I'm going to X out that color, and it's gone. We have the option to change the padding, the margin, as well as whether we want our text to be italic or bold or underlined or uh, strike through, uh, whether we want it to be aligned to the left, centered, aligned to the right, uh, justified both left and right, etc. And if at any point in time you want to get rid of any of these options, you just click this X button here and that brings it back to the default. We can also change the body color. Now that I've got a nice tan background, maybe this gray is not the perfect color for my, uh, for my text. So I click again here under color and I'll choose maybe black. Scrolling down even further, the next option that we have here is for layout containers. Now let me explain what the different layout containers are. The first one we have here is the page wrap. And just to illustrate which what is the page wrap, I'm going to set that to another different color here. Now you can see there is a slight shift here. If I turn up the margin to say 15 pixels, you can start to see my background image coming in behind it. So this is the page wrap. This essentially wraps all of your content and the background is behind that. So in this case I am going to remove that color. If I wanted a background image again I just click that and I can I can bring in any image I like. So now I have this as my background image. Again it starts to repeat. Again I can choose no repeat. Again, the options are almost identical to uh, what we learned with the background image for the body, and I'm just going to X that out for now. The next area we come to is the middle container, and I'm just going to set a color for the middle container. right about there. So you can see that the middle container is actually this area here just below the header containing all of your posts and your sidebar etc. However if we scroll down you will see that it stops right above the footer. 
scrolling back to the top. The next area we come to is the content. To illustrate where the content starts and stops, I'm just going to set a background color for the content. And you'll see that the content starts right here, avoiding our sidebar, wrapping all the way down our blog posts, and stopping just above our footer. Now in this case, you may have noticed that this containing element is right up against the edge of our content. And maybe that's something that I want to change. So in this case, I'm going to scroll down a little to the padding and I'm going to add 10 pixels of padding. And now our content has just got a little bit of elbow room from against the element of that container. Let's move on from the different areas here to uh, the site logo and tagline. Now in this case, the title of my blog is my logo. Let's say I don't want just the title as text to show up as my uh, site logo. I want to actually have an image. I'm going to check this radio button here for a logo image. And again, by clicking this little circle in the plus, I can bring up my media library and I can load on any image that I want as my logo. I'm going to choose this logo here, the Themify logo, and I'm going to insert this and bring that right in there and it feels a little wide to me. It's taking up almost the full width. So if I want to control that a little further, this little blank box here and this blank box here with pixels, this is your width and height for your logo. So I'm going to change the width for this logo to say 400 pixels, maybe 450, and Let's change the color of the tagline to white, and that will do. You'll see that you have all the same options for, for bold and italic, and you can customize your header to appear however it best suits your, your needs. Let's scroll down to main navigation. Here, you have similar options that you would in other areas of the WordPress backend where you can uh, bring up any pre-built nav and select it to be your nav. You'll see that it's popping in right here. This is a different nav. And the color here is this light gray, which is not showing up very well against that background image that we chose. So I'm going to scroll down a little here, and I'm going to choose just a slightly different color. You'll notice our color option is right here. It looks very similar to where we've had it earlier, and I'm going to change that to white. I could again change the, uh, the background color or the border. Let's give it a solid white border as well. There we go. Now as you scroll through, you'll start to notice similar options for almost any element on the Themify blog that you might want to customize. The post, the page title. So next, let's change the font for just the post title. So I come here to my post options and open that. Again, we have the same options for color, but as I scroll down, I come to this box here where I can again, I can choose the font size. Let's say I wanted to make that smaller. Let's make it 10 pixels. That gets very small. Let's make it larger. Let's say 90 pixels. Now it's very large. Without changing the size, what I want to do is change the font. So here I can click and open up and have any of my WebSafe fonts as well as several Google fonts to choose from here. An entire list. So I'm going to change my post title to Aquafina script. That looks lovely. Now again I can also change specifically the color for just the title by coming down here to color and I can choose any color of the rainbow here in this color picker. I'm actually going to X that out and leave it as that default black. 
and scroll down even further to some additional options that we have here. Now let's say you've come through here and you've gone through all of the options you have for, for background styling and font selection and colors and uh, you just didn't quite find exactly what you wanted. Let's say I want to customize my post image featured image here. I can come in here, uh, say post image IMG and I'm going to give all of my featured images a border radius of say 45 pixels. And you can see that automatically updates in the preview here as well as on all of our featured images. And those are just some of the customization options you have in the new customized panel here in Themify. Thank you.